Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Moog DFAM. Uh, so today we're going to talk about random triggers. Um, this is something that I sort of skip over a lot because I think, oh, this is just so straightforward. But um, it's a really interesting concept to play with. Um, we're going to look at this in two different ways. So let's just start with like a kick drum pattern. So I've got you know a bunch of triggers here, um, and just VCO1 is really running. Um, pretty resonant filter is happening here. Um, so, with that in mind, we just have this regular pattern. So, you know, what we're always looking for is how can we have less regular patterns. Um, so what I've done is VCO2 is set to a square wave, and I'm going to plug the output of VCO2 into velocity. So what that's going to do is, you know, the square wave goes up and down, and it's going to create semi-random triggers here. And as we change the pitch of VCO2, we get more triggers. Uh, if we go higher, we get less triggers if we go lower. So, all triggers. <laughs> and then... And this is sort of... It's random enough, you know, it's sort of like as you move this, you get different rhythms out of it. With that in mind, you know, we can take this concept and do a lot with it. Um, VCO2 can control the clock advance. <laughs> uh, VCO2 can control, gosh, I don't know. We saw it with the electrotoms, it can control extra triggers. The triggers, that's kind of where you get the, the trigger input gives you the ratcheting. The velocity input gives you a little more of like a predictable type of thing happening. Okay. Now, with this in mind, um, let's add some other concept we've looked at before. So we can take pitch and we'll apply it to the noise level. So that'll give us kind of a snare drum type of thing happening. Pitch is high, it turns noise level up. I might have to like give this a little bit of noise level too, just to make it. And then uh, we can assign velocity to VCF decay. Let's try that. Okay, so what's happening is uh, this knob is getting turned up by velocity down here. Um, so we're getting, we're letting in more basically. So the combination of VCO2's square wave on the velocity plus the actual velocity here is sort of like letting more through. <laughs> Envelope generator on VCO1, which is sort of our kick drum sound. <laughs> okay, so I hope that gives you some ideas to play with. Um, the central concept here is, you know, using VCO2 in a square wave to make stuff happen, you know, either through velocity or trigger. <laughs> you know, some more useful than others. I think in this particular instance, much better to put it in velocity. So I hope that helps. <laughs>